what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel i'm doing great thanks for asking hope you guys are doing well so today i'm showcasing an ar9 that i just got done building not too long ago in a previous video and i know what a lot of people are gonna say man that barrel's way too short well what do you consider too short because i think three inches is above average especially if you're trying to keep a load subsonic so a little breakdown, the whole purpose of this build and the purpose for the very short barrel was exactly that. I'm trying to see if I can get subsonic velocities no matter what ammo I'm using right off the shelf. So stay tuned for some velocity testing here in the near future as well as some practical accuracy testing because I know some people are going to be concerned about the very short barrel. And to be fair, I had no intentions of sub MOA accuracy when I built this gun, but if I can get about five or six inch groups at 100 yards, that's good enough for me. So once I lobbed a few rounds through it and I knew it wasn't going to blow up, my only other concern was the lack of a handguard. As you can see, it's so short, I'm just running a barrel nut. Uh, but I'm happy to say, after about three mags of rapid fire, the thing got lukewarm at best. Uh, you can see the best way to hold it is just kind of grip around that barrel nut with your hand around the magwell. And it does lock open after the last round, as you can see. I know it doesn't matter to you guys. Maybe it does, but it matters to me. Will the gun bump? I'd say that was a success. And you know what? It made me chuckle. Now, as you see, I'm inspecting a casing, and that's good practice anytime you do a new build, especially if you're building a rifle. Uh, those can tend to be a little bit more dangerous if you have out-of-battery discharges or defects or issues in the barrel with stuff like that. But in this case, the casing came out good. Everything looked clean. I checked a number of them just to be sure, even some of the steel cases, and there were no issues whatsoever. Well, that about wraps it up. I just want you guys to know, I really enjoy making videos. I enjoy building firearms. I enjoy bringing you this content. And it makes me happy to know that you enjoy watching it. So please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching.